So okay. So that. this is this is how it's going to work. This is how this is how it's going to uh, this is how it's going to be. Uh, first and foremost, um, we're going to have find out on this side. Um, this is what I want you guys to take away. Find out pretty much means to what? To discover or learn about something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On this side, that's right. On this side, we've got figure out, which is to find a solution to a problem or question or to understand, uh, to understand the reason of it. Okay. And sort out. Well, sort out is good. We're going to focus a lot on sort out today, guys. Okay. Um, sort okay. out is to solve a problem, but putting something into working orders. Okay. To solve a problem and to work out something so it works again. Okay. And finally, Good. turns out is how something develops or something ends or so, how something results in, okay? The final result of something. And those are the big four phrasal verbs of customer service uh, that we're going to discuss about today. So um, all I want you to do is this, guys. Just remember one word, okay? When we talk about find out, the word that's going to pop into your brain is the word what? What word is learn. learn. To learn. That's to find out. Find out pretty much just simply means to learn, okay? I need to find out how this works. In other words, I need to learn how it works. Secondly, we have figure out. Figure out means to what? Discover. To understand, to understand something, okay? So I need to understand how this computer works. I need to figure out how this computer works. After that, we've got sort out. Sort out means what? Solve, to solve something. Um, I need to sort out the problem with the audio on my computer. I need to solve it, in other words, okay? And then we have turns out. Turns out means what? Result, the result, okay? So turns out that the problem was with the, uh, with the, with the driver, the, the, the setup driver. So that's why it wasn't working, okay? So again, let's recap. Okay, when you find out, you what? Learn. You learn. When you figure out, you? Understand. When you sort out, you? Solve. 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 And turns out means? The result. And this is the mental Solve. process. If there is a mental process uh, on how your brain works, it would be like this. Number one, you need to find out, right? You need to learn about the problem or the issue. Number two, once you learn, you find out, you learn about it, you move on to understanding. Understanding okay. the problem, you figure it out, okay? When, okay. Once, once you figure out the problem, you can go to step number three. Step number three is what? To sort out, sort out the problem. And finally, in customer service, you're going to go uh, ahead and explain it. You're going to explain the result of the problem. Do you understand? So that's how it works. One, two, three, four. Number one, you find out what's wrong. Number two, you understand what's, what's happening. Number three, you proceed to solve it, to sort it out. And finally, you, you proceed to explain the result or the cause of it. Turns out. Okay, and that's how it's going to work. All right, fellas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's start. Let's start. Uh, let's start with uh, talking. Okay. Last time we talked about figure out. We did a lot of work on figure out on part two. On this uh, third part, we're going to fo focus a lot on on sort out. Okay. So a lot of times it can be a little bit tricky because sort out and figure out are can be a little bit tricky to understand. Okay. But in this sense, um, I'm going to explain to you to you guys how we can use it, okay? okay. All right. Okay. Good. Now, mm -hmm. sort out and figure out can be confusing a little bit. But let's understand that sometimes sort out and figure out can be used as, as, as interchangeably. They're sometimes synonyms, okay? So one thing with sort out is that when you when you when you when you use when you talk about sorting something out, you're focusing more on solving something, okay? You're focusing more okay. on solving something, all right? So mm -hmm. when you sort out, you solve something. You, uh, you can arrange something or you cat categorize something. That's sort out mostly. 
But when you use figure out, when you say you're going to figure out something, it's more about understanding the problem than solving it. You understand? It, and it's also more about answering, providing an answer to that problem as well. But mostly you want to focus on understanding when you figure out. When you, when you use sort out, you're focusing more on solving it. Okay? But what do both things have in common? Well, both things have in common this, that either sort out or figure out can be used to refer to understanding something or to solving something. So they do share that similarity, okay? Right? So similar things are uh, the understanding part and the solving part are similar. Okay, let's go to some examples over here. It says here, um, let's see, Bardo, could you help us out with this example? Could you read it yeah, out for us? Okay, I am trying to figure out a way to do it. Second one, I am trying to sort, to sort out a way to do it. Figure out on the to find a solution for out. Okay, that's great. Thanks a lot, Bardo. Okay, so um, we're gonna say uh, here, both phrasal verbs are, are synonymous, okay? So in this example, figure out and sort out pretty much mean the same thing, okay? Which is, I need to understand and I need to find a solution. So um, figure out and sort out can sometimes be used interchangeably because they share the same uh, meaning, okay? So in, some, in, most, in most cases, that's what's gonna happen. It pretty much they're synonymous in most cases, okay? All right, now, now, now that we understood the, the similarities, let's talk about, let's talk about how, to use, how to use them, okay? Let's start with sort out. Now, sort out basically can mean to solve or to categorize, okay? Got it? Okay. Okay, good. If, if so, oh, just a little tip. If somebody's eating or doing something, please turn off the mute the, mute the, the conversation, right? Because I can hear your, your fruit loops. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay. So as I was saying, to solve, um, when you use sort out, you, you can use it to, to solve something or to categorize something. Uh, let's read these examples and then we'll discuss it a bit further. Let's see. Um, Bardo, can you pick somebody from the from the session? Okay, um, Maggie. All right, Maggie, are you there? Yes, I am here. Hi, Maggie. What's up? Hi. Good. How are you holding up? Hey, I am holding up uh, great. Okay, glad to have you. Could you please read the examples for us? Sure. Thanks. Give me a second. Sure. Okay. Run the four ones, right? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Run I'm tired of doing the run run around. I want this this solution sor sorted out. I want this solution uh, right? sorted out. Sorted, sorted out. out. Sort it out. Sort it out. Rest assured, I will make sure to sort it out for you. I need to sort out all the stuff on my cell phone. I got reports, pictures, videos. Ah, it's a mess. Uh, let them sort out. Sort, okay, <laughs> let them sort out their own problems. Thanks a bunch, thanks a bunch. Okay, so let's analyze the sentences a, a little bit. Uh, I'm tired of getting the runaround. Do you guys remember this idiom, the run 